April 13th, 1854. I'm writing this in case I get caught. I need someone to continue the investigation if the worst happens to me. The last months have been very tense. In this monastery, every few weeks, a monk is found in the morning, shredded to pieces and splattered in blood. Okay. Uh, so I've decided to take action. Whoever, no, whatever is doing this must be inside the monastery. One night, I eavesdropped on the abbots and heard about some creature called Meta. I headed to our library in order to find more about it, but came empty-handed. Weeks of research led to nothing at all. Now there's only one place left to check, the restricted section of the library. No one aside from the abbots can go there, and whoever tries to enter and gets caught is sentenced to death. I know I'm putting my life on the line, but I can't stand knowing I might be the next victim and that the abbots are doing nothing about it. So on this night, blessed by the full moon, I'm heading there. I'm going to search books about the Meta and the Restricted Section. I couldn't read that last sentence, but you guys can pause the video and read it yourself, unfortunately. The, the, game's, the game started with this monologue. There we go. That, yeah, Restricted Section. Welcome to the game I just said. And we're, we're just gonna get there, or let's check the game store page as I usually should do. Restricted section. Uh, let's see, controls or arrow keys, ZQE to enter the room or interact. Heavily inspired by the restricted section scene in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, made for the haunted PlayStation 1 Wretched Weekend Jam. There's a lot of games of f fucking for this goddamn game jam. Uh, otherwise, yeah. So now you know what it's about, its origins, let's get into it. Let's see if it's good. I like PlayStation 1 aesthetics, so I'm sh I am don't know who's gonna get tired of it first, me or the viewers. Because a lot of things are being put on hold, like all my old series, until I get all these out of the way. I managed to get in unnoticed. I need to find books with information about Meta. I'm a bearded monk. Ah, I see, I see. It's a decorative world globe. Quite heavy and expensive. You're a wizard, Harry. It's, it's something you had to say every time. For a forbidden section of a library, these stupid monks certainly don't know how to clean up their shit. Supernatural Creatures by Eddie Go. Read. Yes. The existence of supernatural creatures that roam our world is widely known through the spread of folklore, folklore stories. For many, those are simply made to scare other people. However, in order to understand the supernatural, it's necessary to broaden your knowledge, seeking stories from faraway lands. One example comes from South America. People there talk of a creature called Meta, which shares a similarity with werewolves. They only appear during a full moon. People say it always seeks blood and warmth during the night. I don't know a lot of you guys who'd want to give that werewolf some warmth. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. People say it always seeks, which makes unaware travelers with their lit bonfires as an easy prey. Hmm. That could be looted very quickly. Seeking warmth at night. Hmm. I wonder how people seek warmth at night when they are with someone else. Hmm. Uh, get some like a woo werewolf coming around here. It's the full moon, a woo. You gonna share that, Ben? I'm a meta werewolf like thing. I also have a massive dick. <laughs> Mind if I share those sheets with you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, developer. I'm sorry. It's Deckard World Globe. It's also expensive and heavy. You fucking go to the Forbidden Library and it's just fucking full of, like, folklore tales that are about, like, fucking degenerate furries. <laughs> and furries of the past who just, like, made it into, like, historical records. Creature... Creatura Encyclopedia by Maud Heisen, or Hasten. Vampires. An undead creature with pale skin that feeds on the blood of other people. It can transform into a bat. Ghoul. A spirit that lives on cemeteries and digs graves in order to eat corpses. 
though it is al it also attacks the living. Werewolf, a creature that resembles an humanoid, a humanoid with wolf-like features, its howl can be heard from various kilometers of a distance. Meta, a demon with bright red eyes. If someone dies of a high fever during full moon, they may become a Meta a few days after their burial. A high fever? Okay, no one's allowed to die of COVID-19 on a full fucking moon. Travel journal by Abbot Cicero. Cicero? C Cicero? I'm gonna say it's Cicero. My travels through South America are being quite fruitful, even though it's very hot and there seems to be more mosquitoes than people around these parts. I've almost become used to being bitten by them already. Fuck that, I would not. The vistas make up for those minor inconveniences, however. The local people seem to be open to our teachings, as Abbot Marcellus imagined they would. I'm still looking for the ideal place for the new monastery. It's quite hard to choose, since there are so many difficult to reach but wonderful locations around here. Solid books. They all have one single page in them to read, and everything else is just like blank. Can I read the books on the floor even? No, thank god. So will be reading, I guess, like, off this shit. Monthly Obituary by Abbot Augustus Brother Frelo, old age, high fever February, Brother Caesar, heart stroke Brother Angelo, shredded to pieces mm. March, Brother Wilson, shredded to pieces Fall accident, shredded to pieces There's a lot of shredded to pieces are you sure there's no anal prolapses going on, too? There are... <laughs> there are books about exercisations and dark rituals. I'm starting to understand why this section is restricted. Nah. There needs to be more degeneracy. But then again, this game isn't going for... Obviously that kind of humor, unlike how I'm twisting it to be. Because there's three desks here to read books off of. There are some notes about the monastery finances. I'll leave them there. Boring shit. Supernatural creatures. Wait, didn't I read this one? I do believe so. Medicines. Armadillo milk. Weird. Okay. Milk being used as a medicine. That, that leads to, of course, me going to that... Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. How about some circle milk? Will that, will that cure you? Just take a chug of a jar. You'll be cured of all what ails you, obviously. Um, yeah. We, we did read this one. Armadillo milk. It's like whenever you watch, like, a, a children's movie and the cow is, like, male, but they still have udders, and people are like, Why? Why would you do that? But, you know, I guess it's just a big fat, oh well, male cows with udders. You just have to wonder what kind of milk it has. The restricted sec section is quite messy and disorganized. I wonder if something happened here. This feels like this be should be the first desk I read, then. This bookcase is filled with unique copies of common books. I've read most of them. I won't find anything useful here. Ah, so we're a, are a, we're a bookworm, are we? Esoteric medicines. What kind of milk do they use in this book, I wonder? Sometimes health conditions demand specific medicines when the most common ones won't do the job. When this happens, know that you should use the medicines listed here at your own risk, since there's no clear indication of how they act exactly on the body, which can cause severe side effects sometimes, depending on the patient. The first medicine listed here is one indicated to treat a high fever that only gets worse. You'll need Ant eater tongue powder, freshly picked carrots, only fresh. Armadillo milk, a piece of skunk skin and hot water. Gross. Spiritual matters. I'd love to read them, but now's not the time. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Bookcase filled with unique copies, common books. Bunch of dictionaries. 
My Travels in the Americas by Paolo Souza. Mm. Fuck me. I have to fix my microphone. Mm. Yep, my microphone's a pain in the ass right now. Okay. The New World is fascinating is a fascinating place due to various reasons, but none come closer to its native people. Uh, and their culture. It's unfortunate that during the centuries, ugh, mm, the centuries, people have not paid attention to their ancient knowledge about medicinal plants. Oh yeah, you know the anteater tongue and armadillo milk and sergal milk, of course. Unique rituals or society. However, above all the aforementioned points I just listed, the most interesting one has to be the stories about quite exotic evil creatures. Exotic. During my travels through South America, the one that intrigued me the most was the Big Dick Werewolf, Meta. An oh, undead. Oh, it's undead. Oh. It's undead. Fanfics. No more. No more fanfics. It's undead. Its dick is probably rotting. It's not. No rule 34 ing. No, it's just. It's red eyes and undead. It roams around the place it used to live, seeking some source of warmth. See, that's. Oh, such as fresh blood and fire to ease the intense cold it feels. Why doesn't it just... I mean, that'd be kind of nasty if it was, like, undead and it was, like, trying to cuddle up to people instead of being vicious. Like, it just it got some kind of, like, undead rotting thing. And it's just like, give me cuddles. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, that would be kind of gross. No, nope, same thing. No. How about this globe? Globe. Is it also? It's very heavy and expensive, of course. I don't know if I read the bookshelf. That'd be on the further end there. Monastery expansion. After many years of conversations about and plans made by our brothers, we're finally going to initiate the attempt to bring our teachings to new lands. The first place where we're going to visit is South America, where people seem most likely to listen to our teachings in the first moment. Abbot Cicero, or Cicero is going to represent us, traveling with a few other author authorities, also interested in expanding the reach of our monastery beyond our country. No one else must know about this at the moment, so we'll keep silent about the real motives of his travels. You know, except for this book that can be read, but... And I would, it is in a hidden library, so quote-unquote hidden. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Hmm, okay. Alright, how about over here? Expurgationis? Expurgationis? Volume 10. In this volume, we will take a look at some demons specific to some regions of Central America and South America. Few information has been gathered about them as of writing this book, but I aim to give at least a brief description about them. The first one is called Meta. It's believed that a buried person can become one after some time. This, the cause for such an event are still uncertain, but one way is to prevent it. To, oh, one way to prevent it is to cremate the body instead of burying it. It's well known it seeks warmth when roaming at night. That can explain why it showers itself in fresh human blood and seeks bonfires. What's well, kind of stupid. Like I said, cuddling would get you extra warmth. Bathing in human blood, I mean, you just get hypothermia after the blood gets cold. Or just, you know, the blood becomes cold and then you look for the next one. Just get yourself a harem of people and demand that they constantly cuddle you or just like strap them against your body with belts. And you just be like, you know, living with a massive amount of living human beings. Hmm. Suspicious. Uh, strapped to your body at all times. Always. The answers for everything always goes down to harems. South American mosquitoes. The fuck? South America is home to breathtaking landscape, but it can be quite dangerous. In fact, one of the greatest dangers is quite small, namely mosquitoes. 
There's a plethora of mosquito species there, and some are known to transmit diseases that may take some weeks to manifest, with the most common symptom being high fever. Some regions even say you may turn into an undead creature called Meta if you die because of the high fever caused by the mosquito bite. If you come back from your travels and fall ill out of the blue, you may know the reason, but don't worry, you won't turn into an undead creature. Hmm... I think I've gathered enough information. I better go now. The exit is down the main corridor. Well, thanks for the red flag. But I'm still gonna read more. The patient seems to have gotten worse as the full moon approaches. I've never seen such a high fever before. I've done everything I can so far, but there's no sign of improvement on his health. I fear all that is left for us is to pray that he recovers, though this seems unlikely. I fear worse may come to worst when the full moon is upon us. Books about exercisations. Oh, what the book I think this chair that someone is reading. No? Well. Someone must have been sitting here until I came in this room. The fireplace is still lit. Someone must have been here recently. I better be careful. No shit. We're gonna definitely die. You know, I'm just snuck in this library. Someone was here. Someone knows I'm reading up on secret shit. Well, time to leave. Not a red flag at all. I've learned more than enough. I need to get out of here. Wait, did I actually get out of here? No, there's someone on the other side. No way I'm getting out here alive. Rip. Do you, you need to cuddle? Oh, and it closed. Okay, we died after learning what we needed to learn, and then it was sort of a waste of time because we died. Our character's like, well, I'm gonna learn for the sake of learning. Maybe we'll be able to cure people who become metas and big dick werewolves, but nope, and then I die. As soon as I had seen the fire, I would have looked for a weapon, or I would have entered the library with a weapon. Uh, as for how powerful or how dangerous the Maytas are, who knows? But I'm gonna assume our character was completely unarmed. Oh well, but that was that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.